Hey, good evening. I'm Dennis Owens. I'm Valerie Pritchett. Republican gubernatorial candidate Doug Mastriano was supposed to be deposed today by the Congressional Committee investigating January 6th. Supposed to being the operative term. He and his attorney did appear virtually, uh, but didn't stay long. It lasted less than 15 minutes and ended, Doug Mastriano's lawyer says, after he tried to ask the committee questions about the deposition's ground rules. Their answer to me was you know, essentially, Mr. Parlatori, we're asking the questions here, not you. They refused to even answer. Tim Parlatori says he wanted to videotape the proceeding to protect Mastriano. The committee said no. That would prevent the committee from releasing tiny little edited pieces that out of context would portray you know, the wrong impression. He's not trying to hide the information. He just wants to be able to present it in a way that his rights are protected. I'm sure their calculus is that uh, very little good can come out of a searching examination uh, you know, of Mr. Mastriano. Dickinson College President John Jones is a former federal judge who understands Mastriano's concerns and thinks it more prudent to just say no. I think his fundamental objection is that he doesn't want to appear uh, as the star uh, of, uh, or a co-star, you know, of a made-for-TV um, committee. And certainly I can understand uh, running for governor that he'd have an aversion to that. What do you say to people that say you never intended to have him talk anyway? Then that would be totally false. He was happy to talk. Democratic gubernatorial candidate Josh Shapiro was happy to comment on the Republicans' refusal to be deposed. In a statement, said Mastriano continues to show his complete disdain for our democracy, refusing to answer any questions about his efforts to overturn the last election, while he threatens to decertify every voting machine in the state if he doesn't like who wins in 2024. But in 2022, the Shapiro-Mastriano gubernatorial clash is less than three months away, and there's still time to testify. If the committee calls me up today and says, we will do this live and allow the media to observe the entire thing, I will clear my schedule later this week and do it. Numerous attempts to get response from the January 6th committee were unsuccessful today.